was mold inside of her cup. There was mold inside of her cup. There was mold inside of her cup. So that was probably causing her to get sick. Ever, you know, they pack lunches. And then I also have to <coughs> clean this too. I like to clean their water bottles every day. Some people don't clean their kids' water bottles, but I hey, we don't need mold, we don't need none of that extra stuff. <laughs> Now that that's out the way, hey y'all, I'm back again. I'm going to go ahead and do a full reaction to this video by my Jazzy Life titled Trying Out My New Steam Mop Why My Kids Go To Bed So Late. Yeah, so let's get into it. Is that really the best set that you want, Jazz? Is that really what you want to sleep on? You need to take some pages out of Olivia's book and put some pink girly shit in up, in, up in that room, okay? I can't even get it out right. Put some girly ting tings into that bedroom of yours. Make yourself feel more feminine. We can clearly see you lack of the feminine energy as it is. You can build it up. Surround yourself with things that make you feel girly. I mean, unless you just don't give a F, you clearly don't. I mean, apparently the most feminine girly thing you can fine to do is get impregnated and push out babies i'm just gonna leave that there what's up everyone welcome back to another vlog oh my goodness it feels like i haven't vlogged in forever i don't know i just gonna break out i'm gonna be really really extremely tired and um just trying to why it seems like she says that on every video she does it seems like multiple videos in a row she says that exact same thing oh my god it feels like i haven't vlogged in so long everything prepared for baby boy um i haven't put up the you know video yet but i plan on putting it up sometime soon um we have like one or two maybe a few more boxes that we have to do um if you're new here my name is jess and i'm currently pregnant with baby number five and we are doing bedside nursery our room is big enough for him to be on the opposite side of the room so super super excited about that i will show you guys a baby bump so honestly you guys i can't fill out my clothes i actually just got some clothes we already saw it we saw it when you was making your bed why are you being redundant i don't like when these women do that shit especially this one right here she repeats herself oh my god i'm tired i just fed the kids i just want to clarify something like let me show you my baby bump oh chris is so ah, chris chris rubs my belly chris 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 like sis i'm about to make some neck bones you know for my bum girl bye from this company I'm gonna do a try on haul. Hopefully I can fit it. I got it to where it can fit me like postpartumly. So hopefully I can fit the clothes, but this is my postpartum. <laughs> so, comment down below if you feel like baby boy is dropped. Also, if you follow me on Instagram, I put a poll on there as well. But here he is. So big. Probably swole. Why the f did you have those kids locked in that room again? You open the door and let the kids out like you letting your dogs outside to go play around and piss and crap. That's how you be treating them. Look at this. <laughs> let me run that. We know they know how to open the door on their own because you've put locks on your kids' doors before so that they can't get out. So that just goes to show that, yeah, you had them cooped up in that room. I wonder how long you had them in there for. It doesn't even look like they've gotten any type of dressed or prepared for the day. I mean, look at the Clint and, Ava, and Ava's hair. 
it's undone it's unkept it's uncombed so what is this supposed to be right here jasmine is this supposed to be a hold me over until you're done fixing them a sandwich and some other type of thing to, something else to eat is this supposed to be a hold me over until you're done making like some breakfast foods to put in front of them because they just are so hungry and they cannot wait for you to get finished is that what this is supposed to be a single fruit cup <laughs> For a fruit cup, you ain't even got to do all of this, strapping in and putting them in their boosters. They, they could have sat on the floor and ate them. They could have sat down on the floor and ate those fruit cups. You act like they about to make a real big mess. I mean, I don't know how much of a mess they can make with a fruit cup. My man's ain't feeling, she don't even look like she's, she, they don't look, these are not the faces of happy, full, bellied looking kid. I'm not saying that they're always like this, but they don't look happy or satisfied with this. Okay guys, this was actually just finished eating my snack. And I cleaned up a little bit. I picked up a little bit of hair. I kind of went back in the floor and steamed, steamed off the floor. I'm sure. So, okay, you're claiming that that's a snack. It may or may not be, because you know how you be lying. So what do they have for breakfast? What are you making them for lunch? I mean, you are a vlogger. You're a daily life vlogger. You're going to vlog what you're going to make them for lunch, right? You should have vlogged what you made them for breakfast, if they had breakfast. Okay, whatever you say. My new steam mop that I got. I should have this company over on Amazon. I'm going to show you guys that. But I'm going to show you out of the kitchen. Like I said, I have so much to clean. The girls' care stuff's in here. Then we have dishes. Yeah. Story of my life. We know exactly that story of your life. Trifling real life lived in house with four kids so it's gonna be realistic you're gonna see realistic things meaning you're gonna see a little bit messier a little bit mess there but first you guys before i get to start cleaning i need to do something um i haven't ate anything all day so i think i'm going to make myself some noodles i'm gonna show the noodles i got like these noodles are so bomb so i'm gonna need you to miss me with that i ain't ate nothing all day mess miss me with that you are nine months pregnant act like it i mean if it was just you alone who cares you know you're grown do you but you got a baby in that in that thing so it's just like you need to fuel that thing properly. It's these chow mein noodles, and they're so good. I get these all the time. I'm gonna eat these all day, every day. Um, but I don't. I just love eating them. But yeah, they're super duper duper. Oh, they're delicious. We gotta try them. Okay, they're good. They're not all that though. That's not something I'm gonna eat after not eating all day. Which I be hungry, so I be eating. So if I be hungry, I know you be hungry. I'm not finna go all day like that. <laughs> So I know a lot of you guys are wondering why we have two microwaves. So this microwave actually never even noticed. Never even noticed. I, I, I wasn't wondering in case you were concerned. I, I, I never even noticed. No, a little while ago. Way to bring things to people's attention, Jasmine. And our landlord was ordering a new one and he brought over this one, like a temporary microwave. And we ended up using this for a while. But I think he's going to either come get it or he's going to have me just put it upstairs in the storage. Um, but yeah, that's why we have two microwaves at the moment. Like I said, you guys, it's a little meal. It's not the best, it's not the healthiest, but it's really good. It's yummy. It's just some noodles um, with a little bit of veggies. Who would care about you having two microwaves? Who would, who would even care about that? I mean, you do have a quite a large family. I mean, it's not the smallest family. It's not the biggest, but you, you, you in there. So... It wouldn't be too far-fetched for you to have two ovens, even. I've seen houses with two ovens, so, um, no, no one's concerned. And, yeah, I'll eat this here and there sometimes. You know, if I'm, like, really hungry, I don't like making anything. These haven't come in handy. What the fuck? What the hell is that supposed to be? Is Bentley in there with them? What did you just throw in there? Hold on. Is that the, what is that, a dog? I don't know what that is, but I'm I'm thinking that the dog is in there. Unless I see that little motherfucker walk by, I'm going to assume that it's in there because why would you have these gates up? <laughs> Jasmine, you have kids. You don't have animals. If And if you don't want them to grow up acting like animals, you need to start treating them like the little human beings that they are, flat out. Why are you picking up, why are you picking up that big ass thing? Look at your face. You know you're not supposed to be carrying that heavy shit. Wait a minute. Okay, okay, I see what you did there, Jazz. 
Uh, I see what you did there <laughs> with all them gift cards and probably cash apps and probably PayPal's and probably checks in the mail and money orders in the mail. I see what you did. Who's that for? You or Chris or both y'all? I know damn well he didn't buy that. Bump all of that. I'm about to turn this into a gym. You know, I'm about to turn this into a gym space. You not, if you was going to turn that into a gym space, you would have did it earlier in the game. Y'all, you would have turned that. You would have put a couple benches out there, a couple uh, weights out there. There will be things out there already. I mean, I can't say that this is for hips and I cannot assume that he bought it either because he been saying that he wanted to make the gym out there and if he wanted to do that I'm sure Jazz would have found a way to slide her ass out there and show off what he put together but that has not been the case so I don't know it's up in the air what do y'all think do y'all think Jazz purchased this for herself and for Chris because you know Chris is gonna use whatever whatever Jasmine buys and provides from her peasants who provide he's gonna utilize that shit he's gonna milk it I'll put it like that. He's gonna milk it. Or do y'all think hips about that? Jazz, what in the fuck? Jazz, what, what, in, what in the world are you doing? Why are you spilling that solution? It should come out, shouldn't it? If you are supposed to put a clean a cleaning solution in there, then there should be a compartment that you could pull out. Why would you have to put in a cleaning solution like that? I'm sh I'd am i be shook if that's what the directions say for this mop thing you're talking about. If that's what the directions tell you to do, I would be floored because there should be a way to take it apart, basically. And there should be a way and a compartment for where the cleaning solution goes. You look like you're just doing it the half-assed way, the lazy way. That looked like the solution you cleaned the entire kitchen with. That looked like the same bottle of solution you cleaned the whole kitchen with. It just doesn't make sense. You put that cleaning solution in there, but it looks like it don't look like something that's recommended for that. It doesn't look like a solution that came with that mop. Okay, guys. So it is seven twenty-six. The kids actually just finished eating dinner. They said that they want hot lunch tomorrow. Both of them want hot lunch. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean out their lunch boxes. How to wipe them down with Clorox wipe, just so that you know it gets all the gunk out, and plus it disinfects the wipes. I mean, it, plus it disinfects the lunch boxes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I mean, I just finished wipe, cleaning, and I just finished cleaning them. Why don't you just wash it with your normal dish liquid, with a splash of bleach and just do it like that why do you use wipes and all that extra stuff for every single thing let's do it the old-fashioned way it's just as effective bleach will kill the shit out of some germs in case you didn't know you know water bottles every day some people don't think they keep bottles but i hate we don't need mold we don't need none of the extra stuff y'all i'm gonna just chuck that statement up to her being experienced and having moldy ass cups <laughs> Those should be machine washable. Alright guys, um, like I said, if you're interested in getting the steam off, I will put the link where I got it from down below. That's the guy off of Amazon, and I am in love with it. It really gets the floor clean, so I'll make sure I link it to down below. But I'm gonna go ahead and end today's vlog. If you love the vlog. If it gets the floor so clean, why your feet always be dirty? Love and subscribe. It's kind of like a cleaning, it's a mixture of everything, cleaning, day in life type video and everything like that. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing today. Everything's clean so far in the kitchen. And yeah, the kids are in the bath. Well, the kids are in the bath and, you know, they're... Girl, are they in the bath currently unattended or did they already take a bath? Because you're, 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 come on now, come on, get it together. Or my kids go to bed at 8.30 and a lot of people are like, why do your kids stay up so late? They go to bed at 8.30, okay? Don't forget that time. Stop lying. Stop lying. Are different in different locations. So it might be like 10 in your location. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. I mean, yeah, just because it's one time here, it could be a different time there. But those those comments have been based off of the time that you displayed or that you blurted out or that, you know, you you inadvertently showed in your own video. Girl, ain't nobody been talking about the time your kids going to be. Shut the fuck up. Make a video saying, well, your kids are up late, but really they're not. But anyways, I guess I'll go on to say the vlog. Thumbs up. But really they're not. Girl, she'd be in denial like fuck. All right, that is the end of her video. Thank God. I'm gonna rate this a three out of ten. This was trash, absolute trash. So I don't know what else to say. I, I do think that she's greatly in denial. Seven fifty. Her kids. Okay. I guess she had to time it out. <laughs> she had to time it out. 
But um, yeah, your kids might be in their bedrooms at eight eight thirty. But are you going to ensure that they actually fall asleep by eight thirty? You're saying that they go to okay. I see what you're saying. They go to bed at eight thirty, but they might not go to actual sleep until nine thirty, ten maybe. Let's cut your spot. Maybe nine. But y'all, I'm done with this reaction. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also comment your thoughts and opinions about my commentary, as well as what you were able to see in Jasmine's video in the comment section. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.